Hello everyone, welcome to part 89 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website. So once again, we are going to work on, on the uh, product listing page for our e-commerce website. And in this video, we are going to show the category breadcrumb, name, link and category count. Okay, so uh, see the uh, name, link and count, I hope that everyone knows like if you will go to any category like if we go to the men category uh, so here the correct name must come like we have gone now to the men category here you can see the men URL is here so here uh, the men must come okay so this is the uh, category name that we uh, want to show the exact uh, category name that the user open okay and along with that here found 12 result this is static we need to show the number of products that the category shows okay so here the exact number of products will come and and this is the count okay uh, see correct count will come and here uh, the name of the category will come and uh, other than this uh, see name link yeah link of that category will come like uh, uh, if it is t-shirt then we will take the user to the t-shirt if he clicks here okay so here the breadcrumb must come breadcrumb means uh, like uh, its parent category also come if the uh, like if we are uh, going to open the t-shirt okay like uh, i have opened the t-shirt now now it is showing the t-shirt then men we will also show here the men in front of this t-shirt we are going to show the men category so it means the t-shirt is under the men category and if the user clicks on men category then uh, then he will get redirected to the men page in which all the other other category products will also come like the shirts jackets okay so all other products will also come so so that is we call as the breadcrumb okay uh, so uh, let's start uh, working on this thing and uh, first of all we need to modify that category details function uh, that we have already uh, earlier created in category model and here we are going to uh, add that uh, breadcrumb okay we are going to create that breadcrumb so that we will provide the correct link okay correct link of the category as well as the subcategory okay so we are going to take one variable and before that i will also add here the parent id we also require now the parent id okay we need to see whether the current category is having any parent id or not okay so this condition we are required to add uh, for making the breadcrumb okay like if uh, uh, dollar category details uh, sorry uh, if dollar category details uh it's a parent id parent id is equal to equal to zero then it's the one case and else so if it is zero so in this case we are going to show the main category only because there is only one category okay so only uh, show main category in the breadcrumb like if the user opens the men we are going to show the men we will not show its subcategories in the breadcrumb though we can show the clothing like the main category okay upper category uh, that we are, uh, we are going to show but not the subcategories okay so here i am going to take one variable breadcrumbs like this breadcrumbs uh, and here see now the thing like i want to pick this one so i will pick it from the listing blade file uh, uh, this link i'm going to pick here okay uh, and i'm going to put it here so i will dynamically here uh, link i'm going to add here uh, like uh, i'm going to add here the link uh, uh, something uh, like a url i'm going to add here url okay and in this url uh, i am going to add the category details url okay uh, in the same okay that uh, url will come also it will come like url url of that category okay and this uh, category name okay after that the category name i'm going to copy this one and we'll add it here 
and here I'm going to add it like this, okay. And here the category name will come like this, okay. So in case of else, there are two categories. One is the main, and one it it is uh, one its subcategory. Okay. Now we are going to show show main and subcategory in breadcrumb. Okay. So here uh, we are going to uh, see. Uh, we are going to show here this one breadcrumb this one and uh, and we are also going to find the main category like if we will open this subcategory like t-shirt we are going to identify its main category so i am going to add here parent category i want to find uh, which parent category uh, this category is having so in this case i am going to find uh, its uh, uh, category name as well as its, uh, its url in select and URL and I am going to find it from the uh, ID from the category ID where ID uh, is matching uh, with the category details ID category details parent ID okay with that ID we are going to identify that uh, whether uh, it is having any uh, any subcategory or not okay first sorry any any parent uh, category or not first two array okay so now see uh, now in this case like uh, see if the parent id is zero so it means that it does not have any parent like this subcategory does not have any parent but if the parent id is not zero so it means that it it is having the parent okay and that uh, parent must be having another parent as well okay so so in that case we need to show it as well okay so uh, now uh, there, there are we are going to add you now breadcrumbs once again i'm going to pick this one okay here and in this i'm going to show now two uh, two links okay one is for the parent category and one is for the subcategory okay uh, so here category details parent id so this one will come in second position and we also want to show its uh, parent category here like this uh, it's the subcategory and here i'm going to show like uh, parent category i'm going to take the parent category here okay in both the cases parent category parent category url and parent category this one uh, uh, okay so now I'm going to check that whether it will work fine or not. Okay. Uh, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. I'm going to pass it here. Like this. And this breadcrumbs I'm going to use here in the listing bed file. I'm going to command this one. And I'm going to use it here. Let's see if it will work fine. I'm not sure. Uh, first uh, see then we will try to understand it once again. So let's see, let's refresh it. Some syntax error has come in that only, okay. So we are going to see semicolon. I forgot to add the semicolons. So that's why uh, I'm going to check once again. I'm going to refresh it. And still there is some syntax error, okay. Uh, so in that only, okay. So I'm going to check it out that what exactly this syntax error syntax error can be anywhere uh, so it is showing here but uh, uh, in some cases it may be at some other place uh, so we need to um, check it carefully uh, so it is closing everywhere it is closing correctly uh, but uh, here we need to see uh, that uh, it must not locate anywhere else like if I am going to command this one uh, like if I am going to remove this one in that case uh, syntax error is still there uh, so it means it is actually the syntax error here only uh, like if I am going to remove this one then the syntax error uh, must go away but uh, it is showing in else but uh, first we need to resolve in this line Oh, let's see. 
Okay, so here you can see oh, we have not added this one. Uh, so let's see. Uh, yeah, it has come now in else. In else also, I think uh, we forgot to add uh, this one and here as well. Uh, now we are going to check and now it is showing some other error. Uh, it is showing the breadcrumbs uh, undefined variable breadcrumbs uh, it is showing the error here but we need to see exactly where the error is coming breadcrumbs uh, breadcrumbs breadcrumbs okay so why this error is coming so and here we click on the breadcrumbs as well and uh, this breadcrumbs we are already passing there uh, but here i think it is coming in array so that's why okay so <coughs> so array is this one carry details and this one we need to add it like this okay then i think uh, now it will not come yes this time it is working fine and you can see that we able to show the men also along with the t-shirts okay so if the user clicks on men then the men category opens with all the products okay so in case of men we are showing the clothing as well and if the user clicks on clothing then once again he will go to the clothing okay inside clothing everything comes like men women kids okay everything comes inside clothing okay so inside clothing so maybe see uh we are not going to show this clothing electronics i don't think that the link is required for this one like uh, no one uh, no website displays uh, uh, displays clothing or electronics it is useless okay uh, we may hide this one but men is acceptable okay uh, we can disable clothing at the top because there is no meaning to show such a vast field okay so uh, i don't think that we need to show i'm going to remove that from the front layout and here uh, we need to see where it is okay here it is and here like uh, this URL is not required okay I don't think that uh, we require at any time okay so uh, there must be uh, something inside this but uh, the yeah in some exceptional cases like uh, uh, if there, uh, if uh, we want to show the deck products inside the category, okay, uh, so that may be the case. But uh, in most of the scenarios, uh, this uh, upper link is not required. Okay, so if we will remove this link, uh, then it will not go anywhere. Like if we we'll click on clothing, it will not go. Electronics appliances, it will not go. User needs to open inside. Like it, it like it will go to the man then it will come fine okay and yes if the user clicks on clothing then again the same issue will come like the, if the user clicks on clothing uh, then uh, we don't want to show it uh, at that level okay uh, because it is it is a dynamic so that's why it is showing like this uh, like uh, see what we have done so far like uh, see if the parent id is zero so in that case like uh, if we open like t-shirt i'm going to open here the t-shirt let's open the here uh, t-shirt okay so uh, so i'm going to check here the t-shirt in the categories table so t-shirts category id is uh, this one eight id okay so i'm going to check its parent id yes its parent id is not zero okay so it will come to the else condition in else condition we are going to show the parent id as well as the subcategory like uh, parent category as well as the subcategory for the uh, for the breadcrumb okay so here we are going to show the uh, the category that is having the four id means parent id as well as this one t-shirt so four is the men category so we have shown the men as well as the t-shirt okay so both the both the categories we have shown so in the same way 
लाइक इफ द यूजर ओपन द मैन कैटेगरी अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू चेक द पेरेंट आईडी यस पेरेंट आईडी इज वन दिस टाइम सो इट मींस दैट इट इज हैविंग द अपर कैटेगरी दैट इट इज हैविंग सम कैटेगरी एट द अपर लेवल मींस इट इज हैविंग द पेरेंट कैटेगरी सो आई एम गोइंग टू चेक नाउ द पेरेंट कैटेगरी इन दिस केस इज वन ओके सो लाइक वी आर सेइंग लाइक वी वांट टू डिसेबल वी डोंट वांट टू शो द क्लोथिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड अप्लायंसेस so in that case we will add the condition like if the parent id is zero like we are saying that we will not show anything <coughs> so we will add one more condition like if the parent id is zero or if the parent id is 1 2 or 3 first three then again we are not going to show any uh, any kind of uh, parent category there in bread crumbs okay like if the parent id is zero or uh if the parent id is equal to go to 1 in all these cases we can show like uh, uh or even 1 okay or even 2 see we are going to repeat it uh, two more times uh this one is for the uh main main categories like uh, this one is for the first three like clothing electronics and appliances okay so i am going to refresh it so now if the user open the clothing see he can't open the clothing he, if he open the man here see the clothing not comes okay because we have disabled that because we don't want to show the clothing here okay but the, if the user open the t-shirt then we are showing the man along with the t-shirt okay so now it is meaningful so now we are going to show the count as well like we are showing the uh now we are showing the category name as well as its breadcrumb along with the link and now uh, i'm going to show the correct uh, uh, like count so that is easy like just uh, one thing we need to do here uh, we will just add the count here and the array array is uh, uh, the array that we are using uh, in our product listing product listing ajax product listing this array category product array and that we are going to use here okay and that will solve our uh, our query like found 14 result in case of t-shirt okay in case of men like if you will click on men how many t-shirt in men 15 result so there are 15 result in men uh, but if we will go inside if we will open the t-shirt then uh, then there are only 14 result and if we are going to open any other like if i are going to open the woman woman shirt or some other like i'm going to open here the woman shirt and in that case uh, uh, you can see the found two result okay so if well, i'm going uh, here woman shirt two result if we click on woman then again two result okay and if we we'll go to electronics electronics there is uh, nothing exists in electronics so we can't go so like this if we we'll go to the kids then there is no result at all okay so in the next video uh, we are going to add the paging like uh, here the incorrect paging is coming there are no products so no paging will come if there are products then the paging will come okay so we are going to work on paging pagination okay simple pagination complex pagination okay so uh, we are going to work on laravel pagination in the next video so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye